Welcome to Infinity Capital everyone. So today we are going to talk about Anthony Waste Handling Cell Limited. Right, so this IPO came pretty recently and it's an interesting business. Uh, so we are going to discuss uh, about this company. So we're going to quickly just go through their uh, rating and uh, they have around uh, 60 61 crores of short term and long term bank facilities right so just trying to figure out what sort of ratings have been assigned so the sta a stable rating has been assigned you know triple b stable stable right so uh, you know i always like to go and check the uh, credit ratings of the company gives gives us a picture about you know what the company is all about how are the rating agencies looking at the you know current key metrics of the company the credibility of the company in terms of its financials it's extremely important to know this now for for those who don't know uh, this company okay it's a solid waste management company for it so they their primary uh, client is the municipalities in india right so the promoters have vast experience in waste management right okay and uh, the activities carried out by the group is collection and transportation of you know uh, your waste mechanized primary collection of waste road sweeping waste processing sanitary landfills right trading of compactors dumpers so on and so forth so these are trading of compactors and dumpers is a very small portion of their business main business is collection and transportation of uh, your uh, waste okay we'll just quickly go on their website page and this this map gives you a thorough understanding of where their presence is so these gray uh, pyramids indicate ongoing projects where they have uh, where they are catering to right and uh, the red pyramids indicate the past projects that they have executed right okay so quickly let's go through their conference call also i like to go through the conference call in order to understand you know what the management is saying the management knows the business better than any analyst guys so always go and uh, listen uh, to conference calls okay because analyst an analyst may have his view on a company but you know it's only one person's view one person's view does not make a world view so I don't like listening to analysts. I like to do my own analysis. Uh, I have not done any in-depth analysis on this company as of now. However, I just like to go through it quickly in order to understand, you know, what sort of investments I'm making, what is happening with the company. So if you see here, it's a, you know, they have around 20 years of rec track record in this business in which it includes solid waste collection, transportation, processing, scientific disposal of waste across india so by scientific disposal it means you know how to sort of neutralize certain uh, you know waste which we cannot uh, dump uh, in the land right we cannot uh, dump everything in the landfill so you have to neutralize it it could be you know your computer parts which have lead in it you know it could be hospital waste you know it could be waste coming out of uh, some other places uh, factories and so on and so forth right so if uh, waste coming out of uh, labs diagnostics any any waste that comes out of a hospital or a labs or a diagnostics these waste cannot be just dumped they have to be treated first right so you know so they all they are also working on projects like waste to energy so they convert waste into energy as well as bio mining of legacy wastes right so currently they have 13 ongoing projects that's they cater to the munici municipalities you know so it's a b2g business it's a business to government business right so this is what the uh, this is what the business is all about right so they have what sort of uh, uh, verticals do they have so three broad areas municipal and solid waste collection transportation project so basically in which they do door-to-door -door collection of solid waste from households commercial establishments you know and other places right so they have around 13 ongoing projects in this area 
right? And uh, what we get to also know that these are multi-year contracts, right? So the average duration of the contracts is six to eight years, seven to eight years. So these are long-term contracts. So there is some sort of visibility of revenue. Okay. Second type of work is municipal solid waste processing project. So they process the waste. First was collecting and transporting. Second is processing the waste. So this involves sorting, segregating the waste, right? And then uh, composting, recycling the waste, you know, converting inorganic waste into derived fuel, say bio, uh, sort of uh, your uh, biofuel and such, right? So these sort of projects have around are for 21 to 25 years, right? So these are extremely long term projects. So there is more revenue visibility in these sort of things, right? And uh, till now we have undertaken 25 projects of which 16 are ongoing projects, right? So this is what uh, they are talking about their business. All right. Now we will come back to the credit rating. We'll get to know more information about the company. So m one of the most important information about the company is uh, over here when you when we read the key rating weakness so you know the rating companies tell you about the the risks in the business so out of the 205 municipal corporations the group is only catering to 10 to 12 so this is the risk obviously because you know they are not even catering to f more than five percent of the total available market but this can be an opportunity also. So if they increase their business, you know, there is a lot of uh, ground to be covered, you know, so it can be a big business going on, right? Also, uh, you know, the processing generally takes so basically the waste processing business involves. Uh, so basically, they need a track record before they get the contract. So that is also something that you know, it, uh, they need to actually prove that they are good at work and uh, and also there will be other problem in this business is because since you're getting this business from the government there will be once this business becomes big and people will see there is some sort of uh, 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 profit in the business there will be a lot of lobbying and under the hand you know sort of uh, 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 you know projects being given to some uh, uh, chief minister or other minister so that could also happen in the business so that is one of the biggest risks in the business as I can see another another problem with the business is that you know the payments uh, are delayed so basically if you see around 85 percent of the total project make payments on monthly basis and balance on quarterly basis so they need a lot of money for working capital right so this is another thing that uh, we need to be aware of if we are making a long term investment in this company, we need to be aware of that their uh, payments uh, cycle is pretty long, H hence it requires more money, right? Now we will quickly go on to screener and just go through other things, right? So 46% is with promoters, you know, FII's hold good amount of stake in this company, which is pretty good. They are showing great interest in the company. So I'm guessing they see some promise in the company. 6% of it is with DIIs and when we uh, it's with DIIs so public has around 18% of uh, stake in the company so this this setup is pretty good I like this setup in terms of the shareholding pattern they generated around 112 crores of cash flow pretty good let's go on to the balance sheet you know so 115 crores of uh, borrowing which is pretty decent right okay uh, they have around 128 crores of cash on the books. So pretty good balance sheet looks pretty strong. If you look at their sales, their sales have doubled since 2016. And if you see incremental sales are going up incre incre incrementally, which means that it, there is steady growth in the business, right? And uh, if we look at the net profits also, so that their profits have also gone up by almost 250 260 basis points if you see profits are continuously going up there was some sort of stagnancy here but then the profit went up right they have uh, profit margins of around operating margins of around 20 25 28 percent so it's pretty good right so overall this looks pretty good march uh, numbers the revenues were higher last year they posted uh, you know losses this year they came out with profits so this also looks pretty good 
let's do some technical analysis on this so uh, so basically this got listed and then it started going down after the listing price so from the listing high the stock is down by 50 percent and then you know it's sort of sort of consolidating here so this is this is the area this is this is pretty much the area in which it is consolidating right so what is the strategy here so two things one is that it retook reclaimed its uh, 50 day moving average right and it is going upwards so the 50 day has st started trending upwards right so that is a good sign and on the on the technical front what i would like to do is i would like to start accumulating the stock within this range this is the range between 300 and 380 this is the range in which i would like to start accumulating the stock now i would i would be looking to hold it for at least two quarters right another thing is we could also see some selling pressure here because you know uh, after making a high of, of 484 it closed you know 17 percent lower it closed at 400 and uh, basically it went down by 27 percent so if we look at the weekly chart if we look at the weekly you know it just kept going down right so we will see some sort of selling pressure coming in and on the weekly chart you'll notice that there is a consolidation this is the consolidation area right so this is a good area to basically you know between 300 and 360 370 it's a good area to start accumulating the stock but moment we come here we should we will be facing selling pressure because you know the, the stock just kept going down continuously you know this week this particular week the stock was down by 16 percent on extremely heavy volume the next week also the stock was down by roughly 10 12 percent right so we'll see some selling pressure here so i'll be holding it for at least two to three quarters in order to figure out how it is moving what sort of uh, what sort of uh, you know quarterly earnings are coming in another thing that we also need to take uh, take into consideration that you know they their earnings are not going to be linear because their payments are not are not coming on time so if, if we come on the ratios you see that see earlier the debtor days were around uh you know 130 right then 5972 so these numbers have to go down so we need to basically uh, if there are a couple of one or two quarters of aberrations we we need to basically let it go so we need to look at annual numbers also you know if you are doing a long term investment you need to look at the annual numbers as well overall there is good promise in this company if it if it is run professionally and if they can manage to get at least you know scale it up and manage to get at least you know some 10 10 to 15 percent of the total number of municipalities in india then we could then we can probably see some sort of uh, size and you know profitability going higher other than that you know if uh, if if they are not able to do that then uh, you know the the f uh, future projections can can be will not be that great so this is the analysis guys thanks a lot for watching a quick disclaimer this is not a buy sell recommendation it's an educational video thank you guys